PTSD is the common ground for the traumatized man and the traumatized woman, traumatized boy, traumatized girl. Uh, however, it is important for those of us who are therapists and those of us who are creating policies to help groups of people to recognize that at times women understand things among the women in a particular way and men understand things among the men in a particular way and, and they may have important differences. And One of the important differences that I see is that a man who's been traumatized and feels embarrassed is a little more likely to be angry and to almost want to get into a fight. It, it, it's an expression of frustration, alienation. It's not a good thing to get into the fight. But I, I see that among my male PTSD patients more than I do among my female PTSD patients. My sense of the whole history of PTSD, probably from where I was located, but I think a lot of my colleagues had the same experience, is PTSD is the common response of men and women. And we discovered it in the Vietnam era when we were focused on, on helping veterans after a number of us were, got over our anger that we were at war at all. We, the, in my generation, we were highly polarized about the value of the Vietnam War. But then all of us realized our, our Vietnam era vets, who were largely male, had a certain pattern of suffering and we had to help them. And we did, and we're proud of helping them. At the same time, the women's movement was going on and women were beginning to, thank goodness, force male-dominated professions to pay attention to rape and to incest and to the battering of wives. There's controversy about who gets battered, the wife or the husband, but from my experience, it was uh, far more prevalent in, uh, in the battering of the woman who suffered. Uh, so PTSD was the common syndrome. Military trauma and rape trauma left men and women with relentless episodic images of the traumatic event, with a blunting of their full humanity, and with an anxiety pattern. That's what we defined as PTSD. The work began in the 70s, in the Vietnam era and as it closed, and in the era of recognition of women's issues. Now, any clinician knows to look for certain resources among women and among groups of women and certain resources among men and groups of men that overlap but that could be distinct. And now I'm hearing and the, the people in GIF from within are hearing a lot of attention to veterans. Let's be sure that women who are victimized aren't left out that, that they get the attention, the resources, the insurance protection, the job protection that they need too. So PTSD is not just about soldiers coming back from Iraq and Afghanistan. PTSD is about women who are beaten in their homes, women who are abused as girls, and women who are raped.